There won't be a plea deal in the elder abuse case out of Lewisburg, at least for now. Today is Tuesday, April 16th, and this is 570 News on the Go, brought to you in part by NorthCentralPA.com. Sunny today, high in the low 70s. A Mifflinburg man who caused a fatal accident is handed a lengthy prison term. Penn Live reports 36-year-old Benjamin Martin was ordered to serve 5 to 20 years in state prison. His pickup truck hit a car head-on while traveling Grand Valley Road near Mifflinburg taking the life of 33-year-old Charles Spencer of Montgomery. A Union County judge has rejected a plea deal in the Heritage Springs elder abuse case, although former resident aide 19-year-old Madison Cox of Montgomery pleaded guilty to the extensive abuse. The judge said the amount of proposed jail time was not appropriate to reflect the number of victims. The Daily Item reports the plea deal would have had 12 misdemeanor counts run concurrent with each other and called for three months to a day less than 24 months in county jail. A GoFundMe page and other fundraisers are in place for the victims of a Union County fire that took the life of 16-year-old Reese Conklin, a sophomore at the Mifflinburg High School. Watsontown Trucking has created a GoFundMe page and as of this morning has raised over $12,000. In addition, the Mifflinburg Hotel and Scarlet Deep Tavern and the Best Western Country Cupboard Inn on Route 15 in Lewisburg have offered to be drop-off locations for any clothing for the family. An account has also been set up at Service First Bank. A Little League coach received an electrical shock after a fence became energized during a game on Sunday. It happened late Sunday afternoon as the teams were playing at the Brucey Henry Park in Loyal Sock. The coach leaned against the fence when he was shocked. He was not hurt and declined medical treatment. It was determined the high winds that had been kicking up blew a power line off a transformer, which came in contact with a support wire and in turn energized the fence. Everyone was ordered off the field until PPL arrived and isolated and corrected the problem. The athletic director in the Jersey Shore School District would like to see changes in the activity fee. Currently, students must pay $40 per sport. William Mincer is suggesting that next year the fee be lowered to a one-time cost of $50 for the year. Superintendent Dr. Brian Ulmer said if the fees were lowered, next year's budget would be decreased by over $4,100. While the issue was the topic of discussion at the board meeting, no action was taken. An anticipated new gas station in the city of Lock Haven is set to open in May. The Wise Gas and Go at the corner of Belfont Avenue and Commerce Street has been under construction for the better part of 13 months. And students at the Keystone Central CTC Natural Resource Management Program recently participated in the Eels in the Classroom initiative. The Lock Haven Express reports the students raised five American eels and recently released them into Bald Eagle Creek. The program, provided by the Susquehanna River Basin Commission, educates students about the importance of migratory fish like the American eel, which once thrived in the Susquehanna River. For the latest in news and events, head on over to northcentralpa.com. I'm Liz Brady, and you're up to date with 570 News on the Go.